gave me a plan, what happened? He said, well, Israel has sinned. You, you didn't follow my plan. Everything that was in Ai I was supposed to come back to the temple. You broke the plan, you broke the plan. You broke the plan, you broke the benefits of the plan. So what did they, Israel do? They repented, got back on track, and what happened? God gave them every city, city by city, and nobody was able to withstand them. I wonder how many people are listening to me, to me today that God has revealed a plan to you, but your mama came against you. to do next. Now this doesn't jibe, J-I-B-E. This doesn't go together with God because think of it now, you have the omniscient, the all-knowing God resident inside of you and to not know what to do next is an indication that he doesn't know what to do next and that is not true. You have the all-knowing, all-seeing, all-powerful, uh, enabling God living inside of you and because he knows what to do, it is his part to deliver into your heart exactly what it is you are to do next in life. Now with that, our topic today is steps to improvement. Steps, and uh, you should probably uh, note this word steps, S-T-E-P-S, in all caps. S-T-E-P-S, steps to improvement. I'm emphasizing the word steps because, you see, uh, and this may be my introduction, uh, most people dislike steps. They don't like progression. Most people uh, desire to go big immediately. They want it all now. They don't understand God's incremental order. <laughs> I'll, I'll get to you. Glory to God. Amen to God. Uh, a step, by definition, is progression, means progression. And a step is an act of advancing. Um, a step is gradation, G-R-A-D-A-T-I-O-N. In other words, you're moving by grades. You're moving by implements. Isn't it amazing that when it comes to education, that um, third grade comes after second grade? Okay, not this side. It is, isn't it amazing that you don't jump from the first grade to the 11th, even though the first grade has a one in it? Okay, they didn't get it on this side. Y'all get it over here? 11th, 1-1, one, one, first grade, it's just a single one. But you don't move from the first grade to the 11th grade because there are some incremental steps uh, uh, in between the first and the 11th grade. There are some things you need to know in the second grade that if we put you in the 11th grade, you'll have a deficit. I just want to gadget, Pastor. No, no, no. Before you gadget, um, there, there, there are some things that are, that, are, uh, that are critical to your growth and critical to your development that you have to know incrementally. And this is what you run into when you meet people that um, have certain deficits in their life. It doesn't mean they're bad people. They just don't know enough. I was a frustrated pastor about 15 years ago, and uh, I was in my office in this building, and uh, I had prayed that morning, and I, I prayed out of frustration, and I heard the Lord say to me, he said, George, you don't know enough. He said, what you have known has brought you to this level of ministry. You are only frustrated because I'm pulling on you to get you to a new dimension in ministry, and your knowledge doesn't match the new direction. He said, when you know enough, you can move to the next level. Glory to God. Uh, let me see what I can do with that. I didn't want to go here. Um, I want to show you a passage of scripture that the Lord used to kind of um, convert me. <laughs> along those lines uh, when I was really challenged and he says this particular um, passage of scripture to me uh, 
Proverbs chapter 20, and I apologize to those who are helping us with our scripts today in scriptures. Proverbs chapter 20, verse 5. Counsel, counsel, C-O-U-N-S-E-L in the King James or Elizabethan English, in the heart of a man is like deep water. So he was saying to me, George, uh, there are some steps I need to put inside of you so that it can be drawn out as counsel. A broken marriage only means that the two people involved didn't know enough to move beyond where they are to a deeper level of their relationship. That helps somebody right there. Which means that if you can know more, you can move. You don't have to divorce. You just need more knowledge. You know, my children don't like me. You just need more knowledge. Come on, amen to God. Counsel, here it is, in the heart of a man is like deep water, but a man that has understanding will draw it out. So this means that all people have potential, but it takes a man of understanding. It takes a man or woman of knowledge, a person of knowledge to draw up out of people uh, the incremental uh, information that God, uh, potentialities that God has placed in them. It takes a person of understanding. You can't draw out. And, and this is what I'm hearing in my spirit, that the faith that God is demanding that we model in this era. And I've got to be watchful with the words because we're in a new era. Yeah. The faith that you operated on yesterday was faith for yesterday. But God has something new that he's going to reveal about himself in this hour. George, you got to move. All right, now stay with me. Um, are y'all getting anything out of this so far? So um, the word step is defined as degree or degrees. We advance improvement, for example, step by step. God is a God of improvement. I heard that so strongly last night. God is a God of improvement. Uh, it's God's desire that once people are saved, their lives begin to improve. Um, a, a, a step can also be defined as a small space or distance, a small space or distance. Uh, I want us to, to get our eyes off of the big chunks and the huge advances. They will come. But what God does more often than not is to increase you step by step. Um, steps are also um, methods of proceeding. Proceeding, not P-R-E-P-R-O, -E proceeding or moving forward, uh, measures and actions. Notice this, I heard this in my spirit. Um, God, if you look at the Genesis account of Genesis chapters 1 and 2, but more um, definitely, most definitely chapter 1, God recreated the entire earth. Watch this now. In six days. All right, everyone look at me. Now, the God of the Bible recreated the earth in six days. How long could it have taken God to do it? Instantly. Instantly. He could have spoke. When God speaks, the scripture tells us in the book of uh, Psalms uh, that when God speaks, it, his word becomes what he says. So the question has to be asked, why did he do it in six days? He could have done it in six minutes. He could have done it in six nanoseconds. He could have done it in six fleeting thoughts. But God created, recreated the earth in six days to establish that in the earth realm, that which, I hear you, Lord, that which comes from heaven manifests in the earth through steps. God, the heavenly God, spoke into the earth realm and it manifested in steps. It manifested in increments. I hear you, Lord. I say it. This is not a. a this is not a, a. A punch. This is not a throwing a rock at a glass house. But some people who are are listening to me now are in trouble because you didn't approach your life in steps. You tried to do too much too quickly. The question becomes, did, do you have enough knowledge 
to sustain your next step. Glory to God. <laughs> um, many people lose hope when progress is concealed in a plan. I heard the Lord say that. Many people lose hope when God presents his progress through a plan. Lord, I don't want no plan. Just do it and do it right now. And the red is quick. Many people lose hope when progress is concealed in a planned or a stepped approach. They want the immediate and the expanded versions. God, give it to me now, N-I-E, N -I -E, and, and, and give it to me big, now. And the question becomes, do you have enough knowledge to maintain that? You see, Abraham became, and that's a good word, became the father, not a father, but the father of many nations and the father of faith through steps. It wasn't overnight. Notice this. God promised Abram, um, whose name was later changed to Abraham, he promised him a son out of his own bowels. But it took 25 years for Abram to believe that God could do everything he said. Now, it won't take you that long because you do have a good church and a good pastor. But anyway, um, <laughs> it took Abram 25 stepped years to overcome all of his previous belief system to believe that everything God said, God had already made a, a way to do it. Notice this. Jesus was prophesied, the coming of Jesus was prophesied in Genesis. When Adam and Eve sinned against God, God said to Adam, the seed of the woman shall bruise your head. Now, women don't bear seeds. So this is going to be a special woman, a one, one time, one deal woman who would have a seed and that seed would bruise Satan's head. That, that was the first prophecy of Jesus. Yet it took over 15 centuries. Did God already have Jesus? Yes, in the beginning was the Word, St. John chapter 1. And the Word was with God. And the Word was God. The same Jesus, the Word, was in the beginning with God. Verse 3, all things were made by him. And without him, there's nothing that was made that was made, that is made that was made. So Jesus has been around from the beginning. Why didn't God reveal him? Because he was moving according to steps. Notice this, the steps of, of a good man. Not years. <laughs> the steps of a good man are... Ordered by the Lord and he delights in his way. Could it be that the reason that you're on the other side of where you are now is because God is developing your life through steps? He gave you a vision. I know it. And it's bigger than where you are. I know it. But the question is, are you embracing the steps? I hear you, Father. He showed you your healed body regardless of what you're experiencing now. But the question is, are you embracing the steps that he is revealing to you to get you there? Are, have you changed your diet? See, I lost both sides. <laughs> Section A, B, C, D, and whoever's in E. Because he's showing you healing through a step. Sometimes it's not, it's not eating less. Sometimes it's eating more of the right thing. He done showed me me living 120 years, but are you taking the steps to live 120 years? If your ankles are popping now at 40, you're doing... <laughs> the Lord has shown me that, that, that I'm going to... And, 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 and the reason he shows it, me these kinds of things is, is not uh, to discourage me or to show me that it has to be this way, but these are things I, as pastor, pray over. He's shown me people dying out of time because they wouldn't follow the steps. They saw the big thing, but they wouldn't involve themselves in the incremental process. Hallelujah. <sighs> 
We must trust that God has a plan for us, which he wishes, he desires to, to reveal. Contained in his revealed plan are junctures, periods, times for his preset promotion. Have you ever seen someone get promoted before it was time? It's an ugly piece. So the question becomes not just getting the thing, but the maintenance of the thing. Can you make, do you know enough about God? Has your faith increased to the level to sustain the vision that he's placed in you? Um, here's some facts. God is the consummate planner. I've given you these already through which he, est he establishes. He God establishes next move moves. God trusts, secondly, and executes himself through plans. He is not a whimsical God. He doesn't have bad days, nor is he an event God. He is always revealing himself to people who can hear him. Thirdly, it will take a greater understanding of biblical faith. The God's ability to crystallize, make clear advancements than ever before to move forward in the days in which we're now living. Commensurate or even with the actions of faith is the all important spirit generated action plan. I told you before, the plan of action is the pivot from making faith confessions to seeing manifestations, both of which are important. Faith confessions lead to manifestations. But what is the pivot? What is the trigger pull? Uh, what is the thing that causes the manifestations to happen in uh, the believer's life? Well, I've told you that there are six components of biblical faith. A is hearing. Faith comes by hearing, Romans 10, 17, and hearing and hearing and hearing and hearing and hearing ad infinitum, hearing on into infinity and hearing by the word of God. I've told you that um, biblical faith is comprised of receiving. For as many as received him to them gave he power to become the sons of God, even to those that believe on his name, which implies that everyone that hears doesn't receive. Then fourthly or thirdly, I told you that biblical faith is constituted and constructed um, by way of believing, believing whosoever uh, believes and is baptized shall be saved. St. Mark chapter 16. And then uh, the plan of action or uh, letter D or number four is acting, acting. All these are verbs. Um, James chapter 2, verses 22 through 26 talks about having corresponding actions. And from that um, is this pivotal um, piece called an action plan. So what does it look like? And then fifthly, or letter E, of, of course, is saying, St. Mark chapter 11, verses 22 through 24, whosoever shall say to this mountain, be thou removed and be thou cast into the sea, and shall not doubt in his heart, but shall believe that those things which he saith shall come to pass. He shall have whatsoever he saith. See, he's saying something out of a revealed action plan. And then uh, sixthly, or a letter uh, F, is praising. You're praising God for the finished work because it is already done in the spiritual realm. Proverbs chapter 19, verse 21 from the New International Version. Many are the plans in a person's heart, but it is the Lord's purpose that prevails. In other words, you can have many fleeting thoughts and ideas and uh, strategies about particular uh, instances and areas of your life, but it is only the Lord's plan that prevails. So what you want to know is what in everything? What is God's plan? God, what is your action plan? And what is the timing of your plan? Glory to God. Remember, I've told you before in previous lessons that the swelling crowd of St. John uh, chapter five was fed by way of an action plan. Uh, Goliath was killed by way of an action plan. Remember uh, the five smooth stones and, and David's familiar sling, not sling shots, they weren't created yet, but David's familiar sling, he had a plan. Uh, remember it was um, God's plan that brought Israel into the seven nations that were greater than they and mightier than they. And God told him in, in Numbers 13, we read a bit of it for the offering, go and spy out the land. And then he told him, you take the first um, city, uh, uh, which is, 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 is going to be uh, Jericho, and then you take Ai, and then so forth and so on. And remember, uh, God told him, he said, now you can have the spoils of every city, but the first one belongs
belongs to me. So remember, they went to Ai. And remember, um, the, 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 the gold was stolen. You remember that? And, and 30 men lost their lives. You remember that? And Joshua goes back to God and says, God, you gave me a plan. What happened? He said, well, Israel has sinned. You, you didn't follow my plan. Everything that was in Ai was supposed to come back to the temple. You broke the plan. You broke the plan. You broke the plan. You broke the benefits of the plan. So what did they, Israel do? They repented. Got back on track. And what happened? God gave them every city, city by city, and nobody was able to withstand them. I wonder how many people are listening to me today that God has revealed a plan to you, but your mama came against it. Your dad came against it. And sometimes because of, by way of training, we never saw it that way. But did you ever see anybody turn water into wine? <laughs> did, you, did you ever see anyone touch a rock and it fed three and a half million people plus livestock? You, you don't see it God's way because God is God. You're being real slow with amen. It's not generous today, but that's all right. So how, how do I follow the plan of God for my life? I've given you this before and I want to reemphasize because I think it bears repeating. Become a person of prayer. Become a person of prayer. I've taught this before. Secondly, read the word of God daily regularly. Thirdly, follow the commands, the instructions that God places on your heart. Fourthly, seek a godly community. You might need new friends. The friends you have now might be possibly for the level where you are now, but new levels require new information sources. People with new levels new experiences that can expose you. I'm going to get to it if I, if I hurry along. And then fifthly, of course, and lastly, uh, obey the truth of God's instructions regardless. Obey the truth of God's instructions regardless. Okay, here we are. So how does the Holy Spirit reveal action plans to God's people? Action plans are solutions, remedies, and obviously steps for life's improvements. Life's improvements come through steps. You don't move out of Section 8 governmental housing and move into a half a million dollar house overnight. There are, there's a step from coming from Section 8 to half a million dollars. Okay, let me come back over here. It's, not, it's cold on this side. There, there's steps. I know you believe in God for it and God has that for you, but there's a mindset that has to change. You know, if you still uh, have a Section 8 governmental housing mindset in a half a million dollar house, you don't know how to, to involve yourself in that community. You, 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 you still going to be doing crazy stuff that you should have left at Section 8. You know, Section 8, everybody left their trash cans out until they needed them again. Okay, I, I, okay. And that was all right because that was the community. But now you move a half a million dollar community, million dollar community, uh, and upwards, they don't do that. Uh, you know, you, your trash can looks beat up, and it's fine because you said well, nothing goes in it but trash. But extensive communities, all that trash cans match. And they don't, they don't get beat up. And they get washed out and cleaned. Oh, I thought I was ready to go to half a million dollar living. No, no, no. There's a mindset, and this is why God brings you along gradually. So you, I hear you, Father. So you can disconnect from some things while you're reconnecting to other things. It takes time to get from that. Amen to God. Lord, I could go so far with this, so many different ways. Let's go. Um, so, A, God, I showed you this, 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 17. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is. Once he becomes uh, uh, aligned with and, and the child of God, he or she, he is a new creation. Old things in the spiritual realm have passed away and behold, everything about that person is new. So God has a new lifestyle for you. But watch this. You can't be a new creation out here still thinking like the old creation in here. See, new creation experiences out here come from new living in here. Don't have time to work it out. 
and then letter B, wisdom or revelation of the plan of action can be extracting from the following sources. Uh, one, the Holy Spirit's voice, Isaiah 48, 16. Come ye near unto me, hear ye this. I have not spoken in secret from the beginning, from the time that it was, there I am. Now And now the Lord God and his spirit hath sent me. So the Holy Spirit has been sent by God to speak to God's people. Verse 17, what, right off the bat, what does the Holy Spirit say? Thus saith the Lord. So you know you're not hearing from the Holy Spirit if he's not giving you a thus saith the Lord. That is not the spirit that may be a spirit, but it is not the spirit. Thus saith the Lord. Come on. Um, thy redeemer, the holy one of Israel. I am the Lord thy. Come on, God, which teacheth thee to now spell the word prophet. Now, that sounds like the homonym prophet, the uh, office of the prophetic in the ministry, but it is spelled P-R-O-P-H-E-T. So this is not to be confused. This one, P-R-O-F-I-T, means advancement. This one means benefit. This one means money. This one right here means increase. I am the Lord thy God, which teacheth thee to increase, to benefit, to elevate. So now if he's the teacher of profit, I'm wondering where are the profitable people? It must mean if my life is not profiting every year getting better, it must mean God is speaking and I'm not listening. It must mean he's revealing a plan, but I'm still holding to my own plan. It must mean somebody's controlling me from the grave. Your home? Grown is gone. Both of us can't have a house and you 15 or 30. Both of us can't own a house. Set guidelines, B, train them. See, steps, train them. C, allow them to experience, them children, to experience the damages associated with violating proper guidelines.